Welcome to San Antonio, Texas. We are on vacation, summer 2021. We're also going somewhere else at the end of this trip. That will be a surprise at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe. Click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. And one of the luxuries of life, of course, is going on vacation. So we are in San Antonio, a little road trip away from Houston, just about three hours or so away. And we're gonna take you around and show you a few things, or I will. No one else will be in the video. This is the Menger Hotel. This is where we're staying in downtown San Antonio. It's one of the oldest, maybe the oldest hotel in San Antonio. From the bar, Teddy Roosevelt recruited the Rough Riders. There are all kinds of little historical displays inside. It's very old, but it's a pretty place. It's also right next door, if I pan over here, to the Alamo is right there behind those people who just ruined my shot. I'm gonna take you over to the Alamo now. It's really pretty right here. It has these walls. You think of the Alamo just being the building that you're familiar with seeing, but it has uh, the gardens here. And it used to be a much bigger complex. And there's the Alamo. I'll get you closer. But it's a really beautiful property. I love walking in the gardens. I've done that before. But uh, here we are. It's very hot out and very bright, so I'm gonna stay in the shade. But that's the Alamo. And here's the lobby of the hotel. This is the original part of the hotel. And there's a more um, updated, more contemporary part. Look at the detail in that architecture. It's really beautiful. And then you go all the way up to the ceiling and it has that lovely stained glass top there. It's just gorgeous. And this is the newer part of the lobby. And they have this lovely courtyard out here too with a fountain in the middle there. And all the vegetation and the old balconies. It's very pretty as well. And here's part of the old hallway and they even still have phone booths. Isn't that fun? And this is the part of the building that we're staying in which is obviously newer and our balcony is right there i don't know how old the hotel is i probably have it on a piece of paper over here so i'll go look at that oh yes it says established 1859 so there we go we've already moved in a little bit and one thing that's special about this room is we have a balcony it's quite a good sized balcony as they go and we have a view of the pool and a lovely palm tree one of the very few palm trees, I would imagine, that did not die in the big freeze we had in February. It's like there's a little pergola, and the pool, and chairs, and trees, and all the usual stuff you would find at a hotel pool. Even some little games down there. And I didn't know our balcony would have a table and chairs, so that is a nice surprise. I'm at the McNay Art Museum here in San Antonio. It is a gorgeous place. This used to be someone's home, and she left it to the city to be an art museum after she died. They've added on a contemporary wing over here, but let me swing around and show you the grounds because they are spectacular, really beautiful. Look at this fountain and lots of sculptural artwork out here. And there's a little pond with koi fish and the parking lot and all that stuff, but it's really beautiful. And there's some fantastic art inside too. This is the spectacular courtyard at the McNay. It's a really beautiful area. They have this lovely fountain. And then one of my favorite parts of this courtyard is the staircase. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful with all the tiles? And I'm going to see this limitless exhibition with women artists and I have a surprise for you. I'll show you in just a few minutes.
Now I'm in a little place called La Vita. It's a little shopping center with uh, little individual shops, a lot of artisan stuff and art galleries. I'll show you around a little bit. This is just one of the little streets here. There's a little church and some of the shops. They're starting to close up. I'm about to go into this shop and pick something up. Lots of little lawn ornaments made out of metal. Very cute. I love this cactus, the pink and the green. It's so pretty. And these little animals. I like that armadillo a lot. I think I'm gonna get that for my mom. She just redid her backyard. That'll be really cute. Hi guys, today we're at the historic Market Square and it looks like this. Isn't that pretty? So there are lots of shops here. We're gonna go look around. It's mostly stuff from Mexico. A lot of the shops have the same thing over and over again. But we're gonna look around and I'm going to pick up a few things, I can guarantee you. Right across the street from the Alamo, I'm gonna pan around kind of quickly here, is a very touristy strip of shops and things to do, and this is the kind of thing we avoid. There's some kind of Tomb Raider 3D thing, the Ripley's, the Guinness World Record stuff. No thank you. Spotted in the wild, a Louis Vuitton backpack. We're gonna head down to the Riverwalk, which is also very touristy, but that's where a lot of the restaurants are. And it's really close to our hotel. And I wanted to show you the walk down. Um, this is right next to the Hyatt Hotel. And they have all these lovely waterfalls. It's really pretty. But they're all connected to each other and they start up at ground level and they just fall and fall down, down, down. And they keep going over here. I love that little view. Isn't that so pretty? All the vegetation. And then here, the little waterfalls, they make this river, which is not the river walk, by the way. And they go into the hotel, which is very cool. And there are ducks. There are lots of ducks on the river. So that's where we just came from. You can see the little river comes into the hotel under this little walkway and over here into this part of the hotel little atrium and on the other side it looks like this and then this is the river walk proper so i'll just walk you down a little way so you can get an idea in case you've never seen this before the river walk is a big loop but then it also has tributaries off of it you can see it goes down a ways there. They have little tour boats, that's what that is, that goes through and tells you about the history of some of the buildings. It's mostly lined with restaurants, so you can see people eating out there, and hotels. And you can see there are bridges, those are streets above us on street level. Just to give you an idea of the shape of it, here's a little map. Well, I'm on the next leg of the journey now. Surprise, we're in the Wimberley Driftwood area. This is the same place that I was in in June and I didn't vlog that time, but I told you about it and showed you some photographs. So now I'm vlogging here and I wanted to just give you a little bit of a spin of the property and maybe I should do that without me in it because I'm taking up a whole bunch of the uh, frame here. But I'll do the spin and then I'll give you one without me. Although you love looking at me, right? Yes, that's why you watch. This is my second favorite winery in the Driftwood area. So the winery itself is right over here. That's where you do your tastings. And then they have this whole deck area and another deck area over there where you can sit and enjoy your wine. 
this little tour bus kind of thing is where you can buy glasses and bottles out here. And I don't know if you can hear, there's a musician up there right now. This is a food truck that has burgers and pizzas and some other lovely sides. And it's just a really pretty property. They have the tables up on the deck, but also these Adirondack chairs, a garden area here. Beautiful trees with lots of shade, even though it's boiling hot. That's why I've been all red and sweaty throughout this whole video. It is just, it's in the high 90s up in this area of Texas right now. I'm filming this in late July, early August. The weather is miserable, but beautiful surroundings and it's nice to be on vacation. I want you to meet my new friends. Check it out. There are a few of them. One, two, three, and uh, four. Hello. All right, this is the second place we're staying. It's called Mountain View Lodge, and it's in Wimberley, Texas, and this is our room number eight. And I wanna show you why I picked this place. So first of all, here's the room. It has a little bathroom area there, but this is the reason we're here. Oh, first of all, a little balcony, but it is this view, I didn't realize would be blocked by the trees here. So I'll show you a better view in another location right down from here. But this is the Texas Hill Country. It's lovely. All right, I'm gonna show you a much better view of the view. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Look, it is spectacular, is it not? Let me stay over here in the shade because it's like 500 degrees cooler. Look at that, beautiful. So we're over here in the more wooded area, but wow. And I'm sure it doesn't come across on camera nearly as well as it does in person. Absolutely gorgeous. And check out the clouds we have today. They're really beautiful too. And this place has nature trails you can walk around. So we may do that later when it cools off some or maybe in the morning. A lot of you are probably familiar with this idea where a lot of towns have sculptures that artists take and paint. And this one is really pretty. They have boots here. So this is the Texas prickly pear cactus. I'll just give you a little close up of it here. Very, very pretty. And here's the pool area and there's another part of the lodge over here. And when you go up to their balconies, this very last room, you get this view. We're all checked in and I've got unpacked what I want to unpack. So now I'm going to sit out here on the balcony and enjoy this Prosecco that I just got from Wimberley Valley Winery. It's so nice and refreshing. In my corksicle stemless wine glass, if you guys don't have one of these and you like to drink wine outside by the pool or whatever, like I do, you need one, they're fantastic. I will link them below. And I'm gonna enjoy this and enjoy the view. Having dinner now in Wimberley place called Hayes City Store and Ice House. I'm gonna swing you around to see the band and the place. I just wanna show you what it looks like this morning. It's really beautiful with the sun coming up somewhere over there. And my camera's starting to fog up now because of the temperature difference out here. It's, it's actually bearable this morning, but it's gonna get up into the upper 90s again today. Let me clean my camera for you. That's better. But that's a beautiful, beautiful view to wake up to. It's just gorgeous. The place where we're staying has some nature trails, so we thought we would get up early before it gets too hot and check them out. We just came down all these steps here. There are quite a few more than you can see. Now we're at a fork in the road, and if we go down lower, we're gonna have to climb up higher. So we're gonna go down this path because it's a little early to be doing these stairs for us. We're not used to this. <laughs> so I'll just take you a little bit on some of the trail. All right, and just that quickly, we have abandoned our morning hiking trail. Um, it was getting really rocky and steep and we thought it was gonna be more of a smooth trail that we could just meander and have a nice calm easy walk and that's not what this is um also i'm in shorts and these spiky plants want to murder me so we're turning around and finding a good place to sit and look at the view here's a better view of the view in the morning time here 
Very beautiful. Zoom in a little bit here. Just gorgeous. It's been storming all night. I don't know what time it is right now even, but the thunder has been so loud this morning. You can hear it there and you can see my lens fogging up too. Sorry about that. Um, but it's been so loud that it's woken me up and it's shaking the building. <laughs> Oh, goodness. There was just a huge crack of thunder that sounded like it was in the parking lot out front. But I thought I would just show you a little bit of this. We're supposed to pack up and leave this morning, so I hope the weather lets up some, because I don't particularly want to drive in this or pack the car while it's raining this hard. Also, last night we went to my favorite winery. It's called Driftwood Estate Winery, and I completely forgot to vlog. So I apologize for that, but I'll put a photo up here of the view from the winery. It's really beautiful. And that's an example of what's been happening all morning, and that's why I'm awake. Well, it's a few hours later now, and the storm has finally passed. It's nice and green and lush out here. But I hope you enjoyed the trip. Sorry I didn't film at that winery last night. I really intended to. Oh, what happened, I was going to tell you, is that on the way up there, we got into a really big rainstorm similar to what you saw just without all the thunder and lightning. I was distracted by that. And then when we got there, we had to sit in the parking lot and wait for the rain to die down some so we could run into the winery, which was not close. So we still got pretty wet. And then order our wine and sit out and look at the view and drink some wine for a bit. And then we had a reservation at their bistro, which is on the same property and is also outside. So I had to call them and see see if they had an indoor reservation and we ended up sitting on their covered patio. So I was just busy with all that. That's why I forgot to film. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this lovely view. I may have one more little surprise in store for you. So keep watching after my outro. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.